Welcome back, everybody. It's me. It's I Hate Will. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. Max here is asleep. We should probably let her sleep. Growing girl, she needs her sleep. But we're gonna wake her up in just a little bit after I'm done talking here. This is Life is Strange. This is episode two of our playthrough. We've done six parts before. Episode 2 just relaunched, relaunched, episode 2 just launched today. Very excited to play it. Uh, so let's go ahead and wake up Max and see how she's doing. Morning, Max. Her blind's a little messed up. Okay. Ooh, uh, let's turn up the music just a little bit, but just a little bit. About right there is good, I think. There we go. So, this game is more of an interactive story. Uh, Max has the ability, she just found out, to reverse time and right wrongs and sometimes wrong rights. And she's using that to her advantage. There is something terrible coming. She knows this. She wants to fit she wants to stop it from happening. Okay, Max. Wake up, girl. That is not a grown up's outfit. But you young, it's okay. Alright, let's get up. There you go. All right. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Yeah, shut that off. Uh, let's take a look around. See what's going on. Let's see, Max, make your bed. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. It's just handy. If you keep things clean, you can make a lot better space of this small area. You know, more room for activities. All right, let's check our messages. How do we do that? SMS text messaging, yes. Okay, let's see. Looks like Chloe here, who's our childhood friend. Uh, let's see. Can't go that far. Smart. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? Uh. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh, they're gonna go meet at Ass Buster Breakfast at Two Whales. Oh, wait, they're gonna eat an Ass Buster Breakfast. Okay, so I guess that's where we're gonna go. We're meeting in 40 minutes. Cool. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Breed. Like, okay. No time has passed. Alright, uh, you cell phone? Okay, we don't need to do that. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. I don't know, you're kind of into the 90s. 90s it was very heroin chic. Skinny girl like you would have done better. Alright, uh, let's look. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. If I lived in these dorms, I'd probably do the same. All right, let's take a look. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. What, do you, what, what are they? Oh, that's a bunch of stuff on quantum physics, it looks like. And H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, sure. Read H.G. Wells. <laughs> that's fine. You know what? We're finally going to water you. I'm sorry, little plant. Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Just get more water, dude. It's so ominous every time. Every time that comes up, that's so ominous. Oh, take a selfie. 
Warren okay, is blowing we're gonna be looking. Box now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Okay. Hey, Max, the doctor in the house. Looks like he sent us a bunch of movies on time travel. Including Pulp Fiction, which is actually interesting because there are some people who theorize that because the bandit couple, Tim Roth, um, the lady, I forgot who plays her, but she says something different in the beginning and at the end of the movie when she tells everybody in the place to stick them up. They suggest that it is actually a study on on uh, quantum physics, and that's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's this is go. so insane. It sounds logical to me. That's just this a mumbo jumbo. This makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Okay. Looks like Dana is going to be decorating the hallways in a Halloweeny kind of way. Very good. Sticky note. Sticky note. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. It's only been one night, man. She's been going crazy. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, what's in the drawer? It'll be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Oh, is that like Magic the Gathering? Nerd. Okay. Uh, looks like we have everything, I think. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. That Poor sucks. Thing. That sucks. Alright, let's get out of here. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. I need a slave like that. Hey, let me in. Remember how I'm your friend now? Because I, I made you feel better Fine, about the paint. I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. I'm out here. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Fine, I won't disturb you. What? Ow! Oh! Oh, that's rude as hell. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Should we? You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Well, let's fix that. How about that? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Ha! Wow, Saved you. Wow, that was close. Thank you, Max. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Uh, oh, that's tough, because I love all those movies. I really loved Looper, but I think I'd watch Groundhog Day more. I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. <laughs> I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but it's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Okay. Nice talking to you, Alyssa. Kate's room. Oh yeah, I want to erase this. Will bang for Jesus with a little poop at the bottom. Ha ha ha. There you go fix that for you. Okay. Hey, hey, what are you writing there, jackass? What are you doing? Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Put the goddamn music down. I didn't 
didn't think Kate was like this. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Okay, well, this is... Do people do this? This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, yeah, we read that already. Look. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Let's just look around. Curiosity killed the Max. No, we're looking. We're looking. Who will survive and what will be left of them? We are right in front of her. <laughs> Don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. <laughs> okay, well, we are nosy as shit. Rollerblades. Who rollerblades? Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Okay. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. What is this? What Dramatic, is what? I guess. Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Okay, Dana. Oh, hey. How much you weigh? Can't find out. Alright, Dana. What's up? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Heck yeah, I'm going to the party. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Ooh, birth control. Hmm. Don't... Mm-hmm, that's a responsible thing to do, lady. What Trevor write? Love you, T. That's very nice. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Um... Are you sure? Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Okay. Uh, what's your There's deal? There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. She wouldn't let us play with her drone the other day. Said it wasn't a toy when it absolutely is a toy. Hey, Brooke. Oh. Hi, Max. You stuck up and I hate you. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Okay. Don't hate. Get a life and move on, bitch. Alright, let's... Stella's right. Go away! People sleeping! People Clearly sleeping? not a morning person. Stella's not alone. Red rum. I like... I like clear rum myself. Uh, let's go. I think this is the showers. Yes. 
Oh, hey, it's Sad Girl. Hey, Sad Girl. How's it going? Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay. Oh, we... Hey, I'm not done talking to you, girl. Hey. After my shower, I'll bring her book back, and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Okay, Maybe fine. Maybe just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Hey, who's in here? Who's in here? Fine. Are we barefoot? Oh my god! That's disgusting. Kate, you're barefoot too. That is gross. Look at this. Is that, is that water or shine? That is disgusting. There's trash on the floor. I mean, this was a guy's bathroom? Definitely not. But still, man. Still, this is gross. Can we grab a shower here? Out of order. What? Who cares? You bitch. Okay. Uh, let's grab a shower. Sucks being you right now. What's up, Kate? School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. I won't hang out with you. I think you are a tool. So there. All right. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Someone's going to take you down, Victoria. <laughs> We're wiping that off. It's wrong. Ew, you put on the same clothes? Get like a robe or something gross. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Race. Even if wrong. I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. You should uh, brush your teeth, dude. Max, I'm disappointed in your hygiene. Okay, let's go back, get Kate's book, and then talk to her for a little bit, see how she's doing, and then go meet up with Chloe. Okay. Where does book at? Where's this book at? 
My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Papers. And nothing here. No book here. Okay. It's gotta be somewhere, dude. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. You're an idiot. I better fix this fast. Kate needs You are book. dumb. I don't want to add to her list of problems. Okay. Move. Be gone, foul soft drink. You should probably just clean uh -huh, that up. you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay. Got the book. Uh. Let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. Are you and wearing the same thing? The Are you wearing the same... Oh, no, it's a different shirt. It's fine. You're fine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As no big deal. I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. This Victoria's room. About Ding Dong Ditch. Private number. Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. 7.56 a.m. October the 8th. Oh, sh fine. I won't disturb you. That has to be from Nathan. I must have interrupted the uh, speech there. Okay, this is Kate's room. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Okay. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Okay, let's just get all in her shit. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Alright, let's read this. Let's see how Kate's doing. Kate, your father and I have received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your family. We'll pray for you and expect for you to pray for forgiveness. Mother. Recall us. Okay. That was four days ago. So I hope it... Or a day ago? I don't know, man. It's fine. Now let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look around. Let's just... Let's be nosy. Okay. Kate really has a doting father. All right. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. Katie, you'll always be the brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. Okay. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. <laughs> As a man, if I see a bunch of tissues in the trash next to a bed, I don't assume crying. Just saying. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, that's cool. Which one's Alyssa? I don't remember. Oh, Bunny. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. I love bunnies. Here, take a picture. Oh, is he shy? He's camera shy. That's a good one. Okay, letter. Ouch. She left out amnation. Anybody that takes the time to write calligraphy as beautiful as that is insane. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you release your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. She capitalized eternal hellfire. That is interesting. And also, who uses videotape anymore? Huh? Yeah, who do that? Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. That is pretty dark. It's cool though. I like it. Uh. What else you got? Oh! What is this? 
Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful. And that is adorable. Positive. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Mm, she's going through some tough times. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Let's see, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Proverbs twenty four fifteen. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I hope Kate isn't suicidal. She still seems sad. If she seems complacent. We might have a problem. A photo. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. All right, Kate. Um, uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Uh, here. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um, hmm. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Um. Hmm. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Huh. This is terrible. I'm afraid of what happened to you, girl. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick. And dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Whoa, 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 Nathan. Nathan's a little twerp. And I'm pretty sure he's a date rapist. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Uh, she's Jesus, a bitch. Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Okay. Alright, Kate. Feel better. Feel better, Kate. Let's put the book back. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. 
Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Ooh, oh, jeez. Now, the Prescott family pretty much owns the school and the police in this town. I say we clip them, but uh, let's look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. It gets better. I mean... <laughs> This sucks right now, and life doesn't make sense, but pretty soon you'll be an adult. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. You know, like, like, it's a, a temporary rough spot. You're gonna be fine. Hopefully. I don't know. The family thing. That's a new one. My family certainly was, <laughs> wasn't like that. Um, maybe we, we rewind. Let's see what happens if we tell her to go to the cops, though. I feel pretty strongly about... All this. Okay. Alright, we put the book back. Skip ahead. And go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have whoa, to take whoa, whoa, it seriously whoa, whoa. now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. I don't I don't feel right about this. I think I was right. Time right. out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. All right, we are going back. Go back faster. How do I go back faster? All right, here we go. Okay. Drop the book off. And we'll just tell her to keep your mouth shut and we'll look for proof. If you do that... Okay. Good luck, Kate. I'm pulling for you. I feel bad because these girls are girls in me. They're they're kids. They're they're teenagers. I'm a grown man, and and there's some serious stuff going on in this school, and it makes me go damn. Like, I remember some of these things happening in my high school. We didn't have our own private dorms, and somebody like Nathan would have went for a little ride. Uh, but, but Chloe, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Anime face. No emoji. Alright. I think that's everything in here, right? Juliet? Hey, Dana. Let's talk later, Max. Okay. Excuse me. I'm texting Zach. You guys... I just... I thought we were all friends. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. Look, look, look. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Max.